Um, I made a short video about some um, experiments with a uh, mass production tool. I've always I've read about them and I always found those tools and the websites um, on which you, you can find these tools a little uh, intimidating. But I decided to um, give it a try. I've got a, uh, uh, a USB uh, flash drive that I can uh, sacrifice. And um, so I, I decided to see what I could do with a uh, mass production tool. In case you don't know what a mass production tool is, it's a um, piece of software and it's um, a man it's it's made by the guys who make uh, USB flash drives and it allows you to configure the uh, firmware and uh, one of the things you can also of course exploit this you can uh, for example um, uh, say you've got a uh, two gigabyte uh, flash drive you can use such a tool to uh, make windows and the user believe that, uh, that it is a um, 128 gigabyte flash drive, for example. Um, anyway, I already recorded the video, so I'm going to talk, I'm going to play the video, I'm going to talk over the video. And um, that's a bit clumsy, but, uh, and then I can pause the video uh, whenever I uh, need to. This is the video I'm going to make it full screen and I'm going to uh, play it. So this is my setup. I have got one of those uh, white cush um, devices so I can power on and power off rather than having to uh, disconnect and reconnect the flash drive. And anyway, I'm going to power it on and then uh, I'll show you uh, what it looks like in uh, Chip Genius, it detects the uh, device, it's power on, the little LED is uh, blinking. And this is the current state of the uh, flash drive, no media. This is a fairly common problem where the firmware is corrupted to a degree where um, uh, the flash drive no longer correctly identifies. And I go to the MP tool. The mass production tool. Uh, I can. This was another thing I uh, always found. Where do you find a tool like that? Um, I went here. There, there's other tools. If you if you use the uh, uh, Chip Genius tool, it it sends you to a Chinese website. This is a Russian website. So you will have to have Google translated into English. Um, the uh, the, um, uh, the um, Chip Genius tool uh, tells you with uh, what kind of controller you're uh, dealing. This is the one. It's a Chips Bank controller. And this is how I found a um, it, it, uh, and, and, and moreover, it says, where is it? Not here. Where did it go? Here. It even tells you the exact controller. So I, I basically, I just searched the, 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 this website and um, there's a whole list of different versions. I just decided to pick the most recent one, the, the one that listed my uh, controller. My, my And um, I first picked, I picked a couple and then uh, Windows Defender uh, quarantined it because it was a virus. And I just took that for granted. So I did not use those. I, I, uh, I just picked one that a Defender was happy about. And uh first one did not work. It did not detect my uh, USB flash drive. Second one worked. That's how I, I did it. It's probably not the most, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's probably not the most efficient, efficient way, but anyway. 
Um, okay, I'll go back to the video because I wanted to add how I uh, found the tool in the first place. Let's do it like this. Okay, but I, but I basically fire up the tool. It detects my uh, my uh, my my thingy, my uh, USB flash drive. The uh, website I just uh, um, showed you um, has a. Uh, I'm gonna pause it again so I can show you. It it basically has a sort of step by step and uh, highlighting the most important settings. Uh, it, it does not require you to uh, get a, a binary file with firmware. It sort of seems to figure out automatically the the um, uh, the, the actual NAND chip that is on the uh, USB flash drive. And so, I basically, I went over the settings and kind of copied them. I, I played with other settings too because I was I managed to uh, destroy the uh, USB flash drive eventually. But that's how I got the settings I um, used from this website. And you basically uh, there's if you skip back a little bit here. He's got for all the different controllers and all the different tools. He has kind of the default settings you should uh, pick for uh, trying to fix a uh, corrupt USB flash drive. The, cor the firmware is corrupt. So if, if the firmware corrupts, uh, uh, it can be corrupt up to the point that the controller doesn't know what to do anymore. And then you get this uh, no media. This means the the flash drive controller still communicates with the computer, but it's like having a uh, floppy drive without the diskette in inserted. So then you have no media, and uh, it's kind of hard to. Uh, differentiate between there could be other causes for no media as well i mean if you would um uh, if for example if the controller cannot communicate with a non-flash drive itself it's also a case of no media anyway so then i have the settings i'm going to be using And I try to be funny. I try to uh, uh, put myself here as vendor. And for some reason, it didn't uh, apply that further on. But I was able to do that at some point. So you can make your own brand uh, USB flash drive. So funny, I'm so funny doing that. There's an annoying fly here. Okay, then it starts uh, doing its thing. So, and uh, the firmware is basically, it's, um, you could basically see the USB flash drive itself as a tiny computer. The uh, controller, um, when it's powered on, it boots up, and then it will um, try loading its firmware from the actual NAND memory. And the firmware, you could, a uh, part of the firmware is, uh, for example, you could uh, compare it to the uh, file system on your hard drive. So your computer, you, you power on your computer. There's some uh, logic uh, uh, software built into the uh, motherboard, the BIOS, and all that. And then at some point, it will try looking for hard drives. And um, so, suppose you have Windows installed on an NTFS hard drive, it will 
uh, need to be able to read uh, the NTFS file system. If that's corrupt, then your computer uh, will not boot. And basically this firmware is kind of the same thing. If the uh, controller access the, the NAND, it has to know where it's going to be finding stuff. And so uh, uh, can uh, envision the NAND uh, being uh, divided into little blocks with each having their own address and when stuff is written at a certain location, this has to be uh, kept somewhere in some kind of database or table or whatever. And basically the uh, mass production tool, the MP tool, you can see I have one flash drive connected, but you could potentially have 16 flash drives connected. And then you could uh, configure 16 flash drives at the time in, in one single uh, session. But basically what it's, it, it is doing, it's, it's uh, checking the uh, NAND, uh, NAND memory. And we saw it, I, I didn't go over it, but in settings you can configure all kinds of stuff like uh, how many, how, how large should the uh, ECC code block be, and stuff like that. So it's going to, and you can tell it to uh, erase all NAND or just check all NAND and then uh, figure out where bad blocks are so it can set that aside. But this is basically what the MP tool, the mass production tool now is doing. I can go a little fast forward, I guess, because there's not a lot happening here. Now that's done, and uh, if I go a little back here, now it's almost done. And then when it's done, you, you'll you see it, it releases the lock. Uh, this will, uh, this refreshes, but also what we see is that we now have a one gigabyte fat partition, which we can actually access. I'll try to uh, copy a uh, file to it, which works. Uh, before I show you that, th there's one thing that is interesting is that we get a one gigabyte FAT32 partition while we see here that two gigabyte NAND is uh, actually present uh, according to the uh, Chip Genius tool. Like I said, I, I found this MP tool stuff rather intimidating. The websites uh, where you have to find your way to get the tool you need, and in some cases the firmware you need. So these these are just my first uh, little steps, uh, and, and I don't know why it is uh, not uh, using the full uh, two gigabytes of uh, NAND flash. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's a, a two gigabyte NAND flash, and somehow uh, because it was a uh, uh, somehow it failed a, a quality test, and maybe half of it of it is is disabled, and still the uh, the, uh, the, uh, what's the, the, the the product ID still suggests it being a two gig gigabyte uh, NAND flash drive. I don't know, I don't know what the reason for that is. So file copy test, it works. I'll just do one uh, image file I copy over. It's pretty slow. But the little on-off switch I showed in the beginning of the video is a USB uh, 2 device. So even if the USB flash drive itself would be uh, would be capable of more, 
Well, this is another interesting thing if we uh, use, uh, for example, uh, DMDE. We'll see that the uh, entire uh, NAND chip has been erased. But here we here we see that I uh, told it to uh, I gave it a vendor ID and a product ID, but it didn't um, apply that for some reason. And earlier on, I actually was able. Uh, to do this here. Anyway, um, yeah, I thought I'd share it. I see, I see a lot of questions, for example, on super user uh, where people ask how to use these tools. I'm, I'm, I'm aware this isn't a definitive answer, but um, it shows you the general idea. And um, Signing out.